Is being an Israelite really important? What is the whole duty of man? The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Who will the Lord have mercy on and choose? The book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Are we allowed to envy the very same people who oppress us and do what they do? The book of Proverbs chapter three, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his way. Also gotta, we gotta make a commitment to ourselves to clean up ourselves, you know, it do start with the person in the mirror. Uh, you know, you can't deal with the white man out here until you deal with the white man in there. You see right. what I mean? So right. you, you have to clean up, we have to clean up ourselves. We've been poisoned by this society. We've been poisoned by trying to live like the people who've had us oppressed and, and what they are attracted to, we're attracted to. We gotta come out of that. We gotta be our own people with our own flavor, our own style, our own morals. And we gotta flip it. You know, I'm I'm not Mr. Holy, I'm guilty of it too. So it's something we all have to start doing uh, to clean ourselves up. Will the Israelites have servants in the kingdom? The book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Who can receive redemption? The book of Psalm chapter 130, verse seven, let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Important question. Is being an Israelite really important? Who is the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of Yahweh, and the promises for? The book of Romans chapter nine, verse four, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh, and the promises? Who did Christ come to save? The book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Is God the God of everybody? The book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. And Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Do we really have to keep the commandments? The book of John chapter 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. What is a sin? The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Who can repent? The book of Acts chapter 5, verse 31, Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. The book of Acts chapter 13, verse 24, when John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Some important questions. Is being an Israelite really important? For God so loved the world, who is the world that God loves? The book of John chapter three, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, who is the whosoever in this script? And who is the world? We're gonna find that out right now. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Israel is the world that will not end. Worlds, world in the word, refers to nations. If he wanted to say the entire earth, he would say earth. And Israel is the whosoever. We'll prove that with the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, 
hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. Many times people will say the above script, but they don't read right under it. They, the whosoever are the children of Israel in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hamashiach was only sent for us. He was born through the line of King David who came from Judah. He only came for his people and that's it. And in the book of Joel chapter two, verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. Who is the kingdom of heaven for? The book of Revelation chapter 21, verse one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. What does God think about non-Israelites? The book of 2 Edris, chapter 6, verse 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like spit unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that, that falleth from a vessel. Is being an Israelite really important? Is the Lord an inheritance for Israel? The book of Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 28. And it shall be unto them for an inheritance. I am their inheritance, and ye shall give them no possession in Israel. I am their possession. Will Esau slash Edomites be destroyed off the face of the earth? The book of Obadiah chapter one, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall be and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Who will be cut off and die? The book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land shall the Lord, two parts therein, shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. What is the destiny of the enemies of God? The book of Numbers, chapter 24, verse 16. He hath said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, I shall see him. But not now, I shall behold him, but not but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shem. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked at on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perished forever. 